It is a wonderful pleasure to be here this morning as we take another step in advancing and modernizing our digital infrastructure in this country, taking advantage of technology uh, that is present and that is to come in order to deliver services to our people in a more timely and efficient and cost-effective manner. Governor, I was very happy to hear you say that the, uh, some of the clearing banks have representation here. Because one of the uh, things that we have at the Ministry of Finance have been talking to the clearing banks about is this whole idea of uh, financial inclusion, particularly with respect to the uh, family islands, where, as we know, due to consolidations in, in the uh, domestic banking sector, uh, some have been left without banking services, giving uh, room uh, for other entities to enter, some of which are wholesome and provide uh, a tremendous uh, uh, value, and others uh, maybe not so much uh, as they um, um, engage in activities that uh, may not be in, in the overall best interest uh, of the state and of the individuals involved. And so today is, is uh, incredibly timely. Uh, this whole idea of blockchain uh, and what it offers uh, has been uh, at the forefront of the Ministry of Finance. Uh, and we have uh, participated uh, and sponsored a number of uh, in, uh, initiatives in this regard as we explore what is available and what is possible uh, as a result uh, of, of what uh, is available today. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, uh, the financial secretary and I just came back from Jamaica <clears throat> um, yesterday um, where we attended um, a, a, an IDB conference uh, where one of the pres presenters was the uh, former president of Estonia and we were talking about, uh, with him a bit about their digital revolution uh, and how they've been able to make some significant advances from what he claimed a backwater uh, to now the leader in this, in this space. Um, the reality is that uh, we are not much different than they are or were, uh, and we are in fact uh, more advanced than they were when they began the process. Uh, the, the difference uh, between them and us is a commitment to make it happen. Uh, that commitment means uh, not only from the uh, public sector, but also in the private sector. Uh, the governor mentioned one agency that uh, will s probably serve as the, the lead uh, national identification uh, agency. Uh, because they, they, they have most of the data uh, that is already necessary in order to make this system work and to, ju to, to jump start uh, this entire process. Uh, I know that there are some privacy, uh, uh, data privacy issues that surround that, um, but we're going to have to, to make that leap, bearing in mind the privacy issues and, and making the necessary protections that, that are necessary to ensure uh, that uh, there is security around this whole system. But we're going to have to make that leap in order to, to initial, initi initiate this whole process that we're trying to, to accomplish with respect to uh, inclusive banking, inclu in, in respect to efficient services uh, from the government, uh, to the ease of doing business, uh, and to uh, this, this idea about a, a digital um, uh, currency. Now, when it comes to digital currencies, uh, I, I just placed a bet this morning uh, with, with one of the attendees here <laughs> for a dollar. Uh, and. <laughs> it's a digital dollar too, <laughs> but the, the 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 question is, uh, what is the sustainability of cryptocurrencies? Uh, I think it is, and you're seeing uh, more and more states are getting uh, um, interested uh, and, t and taking uh, positions uh, with respect to crypto independent cryptocurrencies, uh, and how th those will affect uh, monetary policy how they will affect tax policy. Uh, and so that, is, that whole space uh, is getting more and more scrutiny and is getting more and more tighter. Uh, and so it's gonna be interesting to see how that, that develops. The idea of a state-sponsored uh, uh, currency, however, is a different animal because it falls within the, the uh, control uh, of the central bank. Uh, it is backed by the state. And so it has a little bit more value, a little bit more currency. Uh, if you will. Um, and so I applaud the, the, the move by the central bank 
Uh, we certainly believe that this will uh, facilitate trade, um, not only uh, here in, in, in the more uh, developed parts of our country, but also in respect to those areas, as I said earlier, uh, that are now lacking in, in uh, um, banking uh, services. And so I want to uh, congratulate the central bank for taking this initiative. Um, it is the start, I think, of an initiative that will hopefully coordinate all of the efforts uh, across the government uh, with respect to uh, uh, blockchain and, and this whole uh, modernization and di digitization of our, of our services. Uh, and uh, we certainly look forward to the outcomes today and to the presenters are very qualified. Uh, and I certainly uh, um, hope that I'll be able to uh, benefit from some of your insight. This whole idea of blockchain, it's, it, it, you know, when you think about it, it, uh, it seems so um, incredible uh, in the advantages that it, that it would offer. Um, some of it too good to be true, <laughs> but uh, we owe it to ourselves, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we owe it to ourselves to explore it. Uh, because I can tell you that from the government uh, side, we are committed uh, to moving this country forward, to making the, the, the quantum leaps that we need in order to put us ahead of our competition. It is the only way that we're going to be able to maintain our competitive edge and to, to, to uh, sustain the quality of life uh, that we have uh, developed, particularly in the financial services sector, for our people. And so we have no choice. Uh, we must move forward. Uh, we are committed. We are putting our money where our mouth is. Uh, and we will certainly uh, be here to support uh, private sector initiatives uh, in this space. Uh, and we, we certainly encourage uh, all of the stakeholders uh, to, 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 to get on board, uh, to share with us uh, your ideas and, and your expertise so that we know what is out there and what people are doing, uh, so that we don't trip over each other and we have a co coordinated response uh, to this whole idea uh, and we take advantage of the technology that is available. And with that, I wish you a successful uh, conference today. Uh, if I dip out on you, we do have parliament today. Uh, and I'm playing hooky, but uh, uh, I, think this is, I think this is important. I think this is important. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, blockchain is one of the things we're talking about in terms of the, the, the um, parliament. It's, it's, you know, and how we do cabinet papers and, and, and the rest of it. Because, you know, we're still operating on a uh, 1973 model, quite frankly, with respect to how we do government business. Th that can't work. It, it's just too slow. Uh, it's inefficient. And so we have to do something about that. So, so this is all very relevant in, in to us and what we're trying to accomplish. And hopefully we will see the results in short order. Great. Then we'll let you go to the parliament. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.